Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. I, I like living in Britain because my, um, my obvious uh, alcohol problem um, isn't a problem here. No. Hey. Before I came on stage here, my manager, the last thing he said to me was, do you need another drink? No. <laughs> that would never happen in America. When I recorded my special in America, they employed someone to stand by the bar to make sure I didn't get wasted. No way. Because Americans, they don't really drink like you people drink, like they think they do. But they're very into, like, drinking games. Which you people don't really have drinking games. Right? Whenever like I'm out drinking in America, I always meet some like like college boy who'll come to me and go, Hey dude. <laughs> ever play beer pong? Uh, beer pong. <laughs> and I went, like, what's beer pong? Well you gotta get a ping pong ball, you gotta throw it in the cup. If you don't get it in the cup, then you gotta chug your beer. Mm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and I'm like, well let me just get this straight. I'm trying to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> And you're putting an activity in front of me <laughs> that may impede me <laughs> from getting to my beverage. <laughs> I said, they have a drinking game in England. Do you want to know what it's called? Drinking! <laughs> <laughs> and this is how it's played. What you do is, you have a drink, then you get another drink, you have a drink, 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 have a drink. You do this as fast as you can. And if you get so drunk, that your friend has to drive you home, then you fucking win. <laughs> oh. Connor. Done. Pulls out another one. <laughs> oh my god! That's a beauty. <laughs> How many more do you reckon there is? Oh yeah. god. There's a dwarf behind there mixing me a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> I am fucking drunk now. Oh, you slurring so much. All right. I'm going to tell you a story. This story is very long. The first three minutes of this story are very depressing. Just hitching up my pants. <laughs> first three minutes of this story are very depressing, but there is a moment where this story takes flight. And you have to hang in there with me until this moment and trust me that the story is going to get good. I grew up at number three, Taramara Street. At number five was my two best childhood friends, Andrew and Daniel Connor. Daniel was born with a disease called muscular dystrophy. If you don't know what muscular dystrophy is, it's a horrible disease that wastes away at your muscles. It's the same as Lou Gehrig's disease or motor neurone disease, except you're born with it. You get diagnosed when you're about six years old, when you're not walking right, they put you on crutches. By the time you're 10, you're in a wheelchair. By the time you're 20, you're in a completely vegetated state. Most people die before their 25th birthday. Dan's lived to be 33 years old, still alive and kicking. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> still alive. <laughs> He's actually died seven times in his life and been resuscitated seven. And I once asked him, I said, Dan, what happens after you die? And he said, nothing. <laughs> so good luck with your religion and your faith. <laughs> uh, I'll take an actual statistic. <laughs> now his family had since moved to Melbourne. I had moved to the Great Britain. I went to do the Melbourne Comedy Festival. This is about a year ago. Uh, I hadn't seen him in all that time. His brother Andrew came to see my show. And then Andrew took me to see Dan, and I went in to see him. And I'd never seen anyone live this long with this disease. And he's laying on a bed. His eyelids are a muscle that he can't keep open anymore, and they're just, he's just squinting through these little things. And he has a breathing mask on him to keep his lungs working because the lungs are a muscle that he can't keep pumping. He has a, a, a heart monitoring machine in case he flat. Hey, everybody. The video recording ended abruptly. So we did watch the whole special. We saw the bit with his friend from Melbourne. Yes, his friends from Melbourne. <laughs> Go to the brothel and all that. So, but it was an awesome special. It was, yeah. It was, yeah. Brutally, brutal, brutally, yeah. Uh, you know, towards 
many different types of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. But it was comedy. Yeah. So it's hypothetical, right? Mo mo mm -hmm. When you think about most of his stuff. Yeah. Hopefully it's hypothetical. <laughs> 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 so there were there were some materials there that would be offensive to people. Yeah. Even back then in 2010, and I'm sure now it would be more offensive, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah. So we don't know how it will play out as far as like the uploads go, like each part that we put on YouTube mm -hmm. you know, might get into a bit of trouble. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Edits are coming or mm -hmm. edit has came. So that's why if you're watching this uh, ending right now, this review. So that's where we're at mm -hmm. now. Yeah. <laughs> Thoughts. Thoughts. Thoughts, Z. <laughs> you go. Let me hear yours. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> so... It was quite raunchy. Yeah. If you know me, I, I'm quite raunchy. <laughs> <laughs> so, this really worked well for me. It was like an hour and 15 minutes, and it went by like that. Yeah. That's how yeah. I'm like, oh, man, this is the dude right here. Yeah. The raunchier, the better for me. Mm -hmm. So, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Very much so. I was kind of worried that it was going to be like some Australian stuff I wouldn't get, but it wasn't like that. No. Mm -hmm. It was very just like relatable stuff. Yeah. Aside from some of the... I'm, certain things I'm but surprised yeah, it's cultured it. yeah. yeah it's very cultured as well yeah it is yeah. funny my favorite part was that last scene though yeah. that last the story, story. Yeah. solid ass story <laughs> very <laughs> engaging it explains it like you know mm -hmm. yeah. uh, fabulous story yeah. that's a wonderful day yeah it's, yeah it was it was amazing yeah and uh, all the, that he drank though I yeah. know, remind me of my family. She <laughs> 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 was kind of her hanging out, being raunchy. Oh, one like, drink to I get the along next. With. I'm just saying he's able to carry on with the story, like yeah. the pauses in between, like mm -hmm. talk about, you know, like why it's this way and then continue on to the next. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. yeah. I like the intro too, where he like scrambling to get there with a <laughs> drink. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like straight from the bar. Yeah, the bar. He kind of reminds me of. I like his comedy too because it reminds me of uh, Ricky Gervais, and I just love Ricky Gervais. Like yeah. the the that crossed my mind. the the quick, just like the no filter, like mm. just his way with words. It just reminds me of Ricky Gervais, which I love. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, my favorite was like the beginning where he started talking about his comedy in Baghdad. Yeah. Oh. Uh, initially, this is from the get go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a good part. Yeah, there's so many good parts. Yeah, this went by real fast. It went by <laughs> real, real fast. I would definitely see him in person. Yeah, yeah you'd want to. I would to. sit yeah. right in the front so he'd on me. <laughs> and I'd totally get along with him. Yeah, I mean, this is from 2010, so I'm sure he has yeah. a lot of specials. Mm -hmm. going for. I mean, I want to see if he stopped drinking. He said he was gonna stop. Uh, no. He, I reckon he's still drinking. Yeah. Me too. I have a feeling. But he's like, with your take, being Australian and all, I yeah. mean, how, I mean, have you seen the special before? I've seen... Some yeah, special. I've right? seen some of it, and I've seen things where, like, he's been getting thrown stuff at him, Whoa. and they take it down. Oh. So, like, yeah, I've seen oh. things like that, and he's, I forget how offensive he can be, but to me, it's funny, because yeah. it's comedy. You gotta, yeah. like... Yeah, not take it to the heart. He's just that's just him. But yeah. I, I'm sure he tests his audience out because he says certain things on here yeah. catering to like certain audience from different yeah. countries, you whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. learned. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. clever. Yeah, clever. The Jim Jeffries. The yeah. alcohol is the superpower <laughs> <laughs> of storytelling. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. interesting. You had something else to add? No. 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 <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were about to say something. <laughs> yep. So yeah, unfortunately, it ended abruptly with the recording, but we did finish the whole special. It's wonderful. One wonderful special. Yeah. So again, that was Jim Jeffries, Alcohol O Cost from 2010. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the <laughs> notification bell, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Choo